welcome to Camogie Report podcast brought to you by Tipperary Camogie TV. I'm Journey Canan. I'm delighted to be back for the very first podcast of the 2022 season. Um, this is a very special podcast to announce the winners of the FBD uh, Insurance All-Star Team. As you know, previously 33 players were nominated across all five grades of the FBD Insurance Adult Championship this year. Senior, Intermediate, Junior A, Junior B and Junior B2. And today on this special podcast, we will be revealing the 15 players that have been chosen by the selection committee for the All-Star team. Uh, joining me to discuss the winners is Tipperary Senior Manager, Bill Milani. Bill, you're very welcome to the show. Yep. Yeah. thanks very much, Charlene. Happy New Year to you all. Same to you, Bill. Happy New Year to all the listeners as well. Um, Bill, I know, um, first of all, just to point out that Bill wasn't involved in selecting this team we're at, and he's just kindly uh, agreed to come on just so that we can discuss all the winners. Um, Bill, I know uh, along with your fellow management team, you would have travelled the length and breadth of the county this year following all the, the club matches. Um, I think you'll agree with me that we had an excellent championship this year, and I think the FBD Insurance sponsorship, uh, I suppose, elevated our game, uh, but extra exposure to it and um, I think there was an extra buzz and interest in the matches this year. Yeah, look, I, and to be fair, I have to agree with you, like FBD coming on board really like um, added a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, professionalism quality to it. They really bought in and they promoted the game, including yourself, Jerry, like you have to take some credit yourself, uh, the Tipperary uh, PRO committee as well, like the um, the uh, games were promoted excellently and we did get a very good championship uh, in all four grades, five grades, if you want, there were some fabulous matches uh, as the year went on. Uh, I think myself and the lads went to 22 or 23 matches between all the grades. I think we might have missed one or two teams at most if we didn't get a look at one team at them. We went back and made sure we tried to get everybody, you know. But as I say, I was delighted to watch the championship, delighted to be at all the finals. And, I t- I, I, and as I say, I wasn't involved in picking this and I'm delighted to admit it because I don't know how you did, given the uh, given the quality of some of the players that were uh, not included, you know, before we get to it. Like, uh, it's a fabulous 15, though, you know, in fairness. Yeah, like, you know, the debate will probably start after this go- after this is streamed, um, you know, about players that were left out and should be on it. And like you said, a very difficult uh, job for the selection committee uh, to even pick 33 at the start and then to whittle it down to 15. But that's what they have done. They have We have 15 All-Stars. We'll announce them now. Uh, first of all, just to say that eight clubs are represented, uh, four senior clubs, two junior A clubs, one intermediate and one junior B club. So to begin with, the FBD Insurance All-Star Goalkeeper for 2021 is Drummond Inch's Quiva Burke. Uh, Quiva was outstanding all year. When I think of her, I think of the unbelievable penalty save in the county final. I think it really typified her performance uh, in that match, you know, the confidence and, and that she was playing all year. Bill Quiva Burke, All-Star Goalie, good choice? Yeah, I'd say it was. Like I couldn't disagree with it. I thought Quiva had a great year, like uh, especially the club and his man there in the final, the um the uh, penalty save from 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 Cot, who just nearly to nail them all. But then like you know, Luke was on her side in a couple of legs, but she like uh, she made some great saves, her great puck outs, picking out players out the field. And do you know the big thing about it was she was concerned all during the championship uh, saw her against Kitchell as well and uh, she was very good there uh, picked out Campion out the field uh, and anybody that was uh, willing to show for the ball yeah I, I, I couldn't disagree with it Quiva fabulous choice again like um, probably other other ones though like, and you have to mention ones that I think were close like you know uh, uh, Sarah Quigley from Nina I know they're, they're not not all seniors and um, and um, um, a girl that played well a first year in goals maybe or a convert like was uh, Teresa Short as well it's not that you know they were all um, uh, nominated or anything like that but they gave some fabulous performances during the year as well in a lot of the club matches you know they, and they just all deserve a mention you know exactly some fantastic Fantastic goalkeepers throughout, throughout the championship, throughout all the grades. And uh, moving on then to the full back line, uh, we have uh, there were six nominees, and the chosen three are uh, back Maria Connolly of Drum and Inch, full back Rosanna O'Donnell of Aerogan Akarty, and cornerback Sir Ryan of Cashel King Farmings. Uh, fantastic full back line there. Sarna Maria Connolly there, my own club, I would have followed her all year. And I have to say, uh, in terms of Drum and Inch, she was. In my opinion, their most consistent performer with the whole year long and the most improved Camogie player as well. Um, I'm thinking even to the Sarsfields game, the All Ireland semi final that that we lost, and to me, she was still the best probably f- player on the field. Um, that day, 
I don't have all the stats in front of me, but I know in the county final and the county semi final, she kept her marker score. So, um, a fantastic young talent coming up there. Uh, that's Maria Connolly. Did she impress you this year, Bill? Yeah, she did. As you can all agree with you on that, I can agree with the committee again. Like she was tight marker. She's mean, you know, which is which is is which is what you want. But she looks comfortable on the ball. She looks like she knows what she's doing as well. And all her performances just to justify her selection on this. But as you say, like for for drum, she was consistent all year. As you say, she was probably um their best um player consistently throughout the championship, you know, and um deserved deserved a, a selection here as a cornerback. Um, you know, good good uh, great um marker tight as you say like holding most of her is like um scoreless and some quality forwards on her as well, you know. So you have to you have to hats off to her like she had a fabulous year and well deserved. And full back were you surprised this year when Anna Carter had moved to put Rosanna full back and you know how how well she turned out there. Yeah, but you see, like, uh, I, I, I was surprised up to a, up uh, initially, but then, like, we have to remember back when she was playing for Dune uh, in school, she was playing back there, you know, and uh, she's comfortable enough facing the ball. Um, and when I, when I saw the, the selection as well, it was, geez, like, you know, I had to remember uh, watching her over in the Capa Moor. Uh, I think they were playing the, the, the Waterford crowd in uh, Munster Championship. And she was so comfortable, like, she was dominating her position. She's big and strong, you know. Uh, she's underestimated as a, 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 as a hurler, you know, as a skillful hurler. She has good feet and she's great clearances as well. Like you know, um, you know, I, 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 I'm surprised in one sense, but when I really think about it, like you know, being full back, she has been there before. She has experience there. Worked for Anna Carty and deserved this as well in a very, very competitive uh, number three position. You know. Exactly. And then the other cornerback, uh, Saoirse Ryan from Cashel, King Cormix, uh, very exciting young talent. Again, uh, had her own injury problems the last few years, but is back at playing at her best this year for Cashel and was a key defender for them. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I have uh, fierce time for, for Sorka. Um, uh, you know, I mean, even like she probably like nominated for the full back position. I know there's a line we're doing, uh, but a big comeback here for her. Like I thought she's uh, very vocal on the field, very physical, um, knows what she's doing. She's encouraging all around her as well um, um, to the rest of the, the back line. Um, you know, she's a go forward Um Raw in, in on some days, but very tough, very hard to beat. And when they were when when she was playing drum, I mean, she was on some very experienced players. And no matter who drum in the semi final switched onto her, she was, you know, she was nearly on top of them all the time. She 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 held out drum in a, 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 in a lot of occasions during that match. Good nomination again, like you know. And as I say, as you, or as I said yourself, like coming back from um, a year of uh, cruciate, uh, really like fighting her way back onto the tip panel as well. So you know delighted for her that, she, that, that 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 position as well you know so congratulations to all three players they're making the full back line on the fbd insurance all-star team can we give an honorary mention to a, a few more of them like, oh, you you know, can. sorry of course no. yeah yeah but but, but uh it's just that it's important like as well uh, well i would think as well like ron maureen ryan you know what i mean like for a drum like uh on the, on the full back position like i unlucky i would have thought like you know when i saw this i said jeez maureen must be in there someplace you know but uh um, great year as well still going well uh dominating great tight man marker as well like shades of her father there uh, i taught one as well that played very well here in the intermediates emma cleary from killer Ann. you know we don't mention them like they nearly got an upset in the semi-final against knock villa you know and she's been fabulous all year tall rangy athletic type of hurler uh, and another mention as well for Eve uh, butler from sars um had a good year um uh, as well you know so i mean you know when you see what's what what didn't win um you can um it's a really testament to the quality that's in each line you know certainly is certainly Certainly is, and you've started the debate already there, Bill. But we'll move on now to the the half back line, uh, and again another very competitive line. There can only be three winners, and they are Ethan McGrath from Drum and Inch, centre back Mary Ryan from Money Gall, and the opposite wing Neve Tracy from Drum and Inch. So, Bill, yeah, um, your take yeah. on that line? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I, I'm I'm embarrassed by the embarrassed by the by the the richness of of the half back line, and again, like like the people that weren't picked. I mean, Trassy, unreal go forward player. You know what you get with Trass, fierce, honest, uh, driving forward. She's been a scoring uh, wing back for Drew and a real consistent player. And she struggled earlier in the year, uh, but really came into her own there when um when when Drum were going and saved Drum in a lot of occasions too. Like you know this year. Oh, well, you um, nice to see her wing back this. 
this year for drumming into new position? No, um, I, I wasn't. Like we, we, we kind of with when with Tip as well as I know it's not about Tip, Randy, but like we had her playing wing back, centre back as well. She's comfortable yeah. in any role, you know. I think anywhere between the half back line, half forward line, Trash has played full forward as well, uh, underage and through the ages. You know, she's a fabulous player, huge strike on her, uh, strong girl, athletic. Like you couldn't. You couldn't not pick her there, you know what I mean? I mean, the, probably the competition there for her was probably her own Aoife McGrath, you know, and if you were putting her on the left-hand side. Um, but um, um, I wasn't surprised at all. And she really added to, um, she shored up drum and added going forward power as well. Like, you know, that she, if she got up enough, she was able to pick out a player or put the ball over the bear as well. You know, so people underestimate her um, her defensive capabilities as well, but um, well-deserved. Uh, Ma, an absolute superstar, sure. I, I, I couldn't, you couldn't think of a good enough word to compliment Ma, uh, a really experienced player, and I'll use the word experience rather than, uh, than, 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 any, than anything else, you know, reflected on how long she's been around. Um, but, uh, you know, for uh, a junior great year club. for money, money goal, reaching the, the junior A count title. I mean, that's a very competitive, uh, great junior A, and for money God to get to, to be drumming into the semi-final, get to the county final. You know, I think to be fair, Mary Ryan had a had a huge say in that journey for them. Oh uh I, I saw them two or three times against Borland, against Ballinay, obviously the final as well. Um, um, she was fabulous there. She's a real linchpin, you know. But look, I mean, like there could be books written about Mal, how good she is. Like, uh, uh, but for Money Gall, this year, she was ab absolutely fabulous. And her link up play, her spot, her picking out of forwards, and uh, her uh, her interaction and her link up play with um, Ray Tehan as well um, was very good and really uh, drove uh, Money Gall on. And uh, in, as you say, in a very competitive of grade like all the grades are hard to win you know what I mean they really are and um, they just come up a bit sharp but Mal was fabulous all year fabulously consistent as well you know and then Ethan McGrath on the other wing um, you know a real leader for Drum and Inch uh, after captain Drum to three county titles in a row but you know her hurling her skill level her reliability you know when the ball goes back there and you see Aoife's running to it you can relax you can absolutely like I mean, you, uh, like everybody on this line, you couldn't compliment enough. And and look from skill to commitment to honesty to effort. Even McGrath encapsulate, encapsulates all of that. She has all the skills, but she's she she's dogged. She's determined, and she's a real driving forward for drum for drum as well. And all the success they've had for the last years, you know, she leads everything on the field if and more she empties the tank every time and um um i think like you know a lot of drum success over the last three years uh are down to Eva as well and, and her attitude and her approach to the game as well and have always been excellent for us as well you know as you know and just to highlight you know how good those three players are just the three nominees that weren't chosen emer fogarty from uh from Shannon Rovers, excellent young player there, centre back for them this year, only still minor. Julianne Burke, who was a star performer for Bursley this year, and Courtney Ryan, you know, one of the best for Cloney Ross Moore. Any others there that you feel? Yeah, well, you, yeah, well, you, you, you said them all there. That was this is a really tough line, you know, um, um, given the between all the grades. I mean, like, I know you have two seniors and both from drum, and then you have a junior uh, player as well. And you met, you mentioned Julianne Burke. Julianne was absolutely on fire for Bursley, and they really had a good run, you know. Uh, Courtney, as you mentioned as well, I have her down as well. A great year for Clanauti go forward ball again t tough like you know in the middle holding that center but two others there like i mean and i know she's really experienced as well like uh, quiva mar from burgess any game i sorry i know they didn't get as far as they would have liked or or, or wanted but had a great um great um round robin series of game uh held the middle well great distribute uh, great player to distribute the ball um you know a tough tackler but but one of the championship performances i thought um uh, was bet ryan Yockerville. Um, when when the in the final against Shannon Rovers, now I know it became a bit one sided, but um, but Bet Ryan gave an, an absolutely fabulous performance that day. I mean, from the middle, dominated, fielded the ball, drove him on left and right, hooked and blocked, um, did everything that that uh, that uh, to set uh, Knockabilla up for 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 their championship victory. I mean, I I, I was so impressed with that. Going like I know she didn't get even player of the match. But um, but she was um, absolutely fabulous on that day, and I thought like, and I've seen her, I've seen her in the round robins in the intermediates as well, and she was given outstanding performances all, 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 all year, you know, you know. So I think she she deserves a mention as well. It was a 
very difficult line yeah. there. Um, you know, you nearly, you nearly want to pick the six or seven just so that you didn't leave anybody out. It was, it's absolutely, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a testament to all the clubs and the quality of the clubs that these players are all being mentioned, you know. Exactly. You know, wealth of talent there in Tipperary for a half-back line. Um, moving on, so we'll congratulate the six uh, six defenders that are picked and Creeve the goalkeeper. We're moving on to the midfield. Um, two midfielders chosen for FBD All-Star team and they are Lockerville Dunnessy Kickham's Cueva McCarthy and Laura's Clauda McIntyre Bill two fantastic players um, you know I thought Cueva was outstanding for Lockerville all year uh, in the county final alone she scored four points from, from midfield um, fantastic player then you have Clauda uh, when we say about Clauda we've seen recently in Ireland's fittest family we'll just just see the, the, the athlete she is and to captain her own team to a county final after I think it's had had the four years of heartbreak yeah. to finally get them over the line, and um, she was a very popular choice in the committee for 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 midfield there. So two fans. Yeah, I look again, like as I say, like every line is difficult, but you, you couldn't have picked uh, two better. Maybe I would have thought the club might have gone into the forwards, but I mean, obviously the club are playing her out as well. Um, fabulous player. You can see from Ireland's fittest family what we see all the time or what we see on the field with our club and with county. Uh, totally committed, totally honest. Uh, work rate is unreal up and down the field and she's an engine on her, uh, you know, that, that that defies gravity sometimes, you know. Uh, well deserved for her and really getting um, um, Laura up into the junior A ranks as well. Uh, abs- absolutely fabulous selection. Cueva McCarthy, again, like, uh, you know, consistent all year. Um, I saw her the very first uh, round robin match against um, against Newport and uh, our own club Newport and um, and uh, like you know drove and lifted uh, Knockerville on box to box player end to end loads of energy and a great link player as well from the middle of the field like taking ball out of the back from Bet Ryan and, and going on with Arena or Emer Heffernan as, as as you go forward and really like developing the play and as you know like can take uh, four, took four points from play uh, she has a range and a good strike on her as well you know she's she, she's she's a really uh, promising player the two of them are you know they're really promising they've so much more to give and so much more development in them but two great choices again um, absolutely fabulous players uh, Again, it's a difficult line, and I'd say we'd have a long list of who was unfortunate, you know. Yeah. Any, any mentions there that you want to give to? Yeah, well, there's, there's a few, like, from, from um, you know, even your own Mary Burke from Drum, like, I thought was fairly consistent all year, yeah. um, you know, like, um, and, and offered an offer to Drum as well, like, going backwards and forwards between the two lines. Uh, Gemma Fox from Anna Carty, um, uh, like, you know, surprisingly, sort of first year out in midfield, maybe for the club, usually in the half-back line. Uh, Laura Shinners from um, Killer Anne had a good year as well, probably in and below the radar, but really drove him on, got him into the semi final, nearly caused it. set. Um, and our own uh, Sarah McGrath from uh, Newport Ballinhinch Ballin had a great year as well, middle of the field, and she went from centre back to centre forward, but really, like, uh, her fitness is, is unreal. And, um, you know, was was uh, an, a really outstanding player for, for Newport. And obviously, like, you know, Karen Kendi as well, I would just have her in around the midfield. Um, Speedy is an unreal player. And you know these are the type of players, or the quality of players that are, are that didn't get this um, get gets a you know they're just depth there all over the county as well you know excellent so we we'll move on now to the forward line the half forward line the tr- three uh, all stars that make up the half forward line are Cream Blair from Cashelkill Cormacs, Caught Devan of Clonty Rossmore, and Marion Campion of Drummond Inch. Um, I just even. Look, talking about caught the van, Marion Campion, uh, Bo reaching the county final. Obviously, Miriam was successful with Drummond Inch. I thought she had a fantastic county final, um, scored a goal, a fantastic goal in the final that really set the tone for Drummond Inch and sent them on their way. Um, caught, obviously, a huge player for Clonty. Um, don't think they'd be where they are without her. Um, I know she scored nine points in the county final, and most of them are from, from freeze, but I suppose, you know, freeze aren't easy. You know, sometimes we say, oh, they're only freeze, but you know, she's scoring them from all angles, all distances, under pressure, often winning a lot of those frees, doing a lot of work out around the field for, for Cot Van, a real, or for Clonty, a real leader there. Then Cream Blair, um, I saw her against Strum in the county semi-final. I thought she was the biggest threat for Cashel there in the forwards and really had the drum half-back line on their toes. Um, she's a real leader, um, very exciting prospect as well. Uh, for Tipperary, so three fantastic players are after uh, making that half forward line. 
Yeah, again, like uh, I, I, I couldn't fall to the mean. Like you, you know how much I think of Cot and uh, Miriam. Uh, I think they're just fabulous players. They give everything. Miriam's goal in the county final was was um, you know something. Uh, I won't say for the ages, but it was a class goal, and um, you know the way she took it and put it away was unreal. But I mean, uh, Miriam as well for Quiva Burke makes Quiva Burke look good as well because she's a good target player out the field, works hard, finds players, has great paws on her. Um, and a, and a great striker the ball and and really gives I, I know it gives everything to drum and and, and um, well deserved there. Caught the van again is a bit like Mary Ryan. You could write volumes about her. Uh, what he hasn't given to Camogie to the club to the county is unreal. Uh, one of the highlights for me is I went to see them play Burgess in the round robin, and uh, caught scored two pints from the sideline on the on the roadside. And I mean, like you know, you would have said Jesus, like you wouldn't have taken the shot. The two like split the posts and they were like you know near the sixty five right on the edge maybe a yard in from the sideline, and that's two that uh, is common for her at this stage. They're outrageous for everybody else, uh, but they were just like you know uh, quality class points again. But you've seen that for years with caught what she hasn't done for Clonauty as I say like uh, is unreal. She gives everything to everything to everything she goes at you know, and you might say she get a lot of scores from uh, freeze, but she generates a lot of freeze herself. You know what I mean? So she's a hard one to 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 mark. And and one and, and one other thing about her as well is her work rate. Like she gets up and down the field. Um, Helping out the backs, getting the ball out, and is on to the and is running forward again to get onto a ball to try and get a score or, or, or generate a free, you know. Uh, caught and Miriam, um, totally, um, um, um total quality players, you know, and, and class acts, uh, both on and off the field. Green Blair, again, like she with us, I thought with Cash, I saw her against Drum, I thought she was fabulous. She was taking the freezes as well. Unlucky for a couple, and if she'd have got him, would have put Drum under a lot more pressure, you know. She's a developing player. She can play from the half-back line, midfield, into the into the half-forward. Well-deserved here. Cash, I was surprised that Cash actually were playing her on the wing, but it worked out. I mean, she was a threat going up and down the field. She was great to take a ball from a puck out, and also then drive forward and find the player, or she can take her own score too, you know. I thought uh, I thought she had a fabulous year, very consistent as well throughout all the championship. Uh, that line again is, um, you know, I I I wouldn't have been like to be on the committee picking it again because if you left any of them off, like to to be people asking you serious questions, you know. But again, look, I mean, other on un, other mentions on un, unlucky arena maybe or on Friday, like you know, had a good year as well, but not. Uh, Murray Tehan, um, half forward midfield, maybe like for 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 uh, depending on what, on, on, on who money got. And your own Emer McGrath was fabulous in some matches as well. There on the half forward, I know midfield as well. Kind of that whole area is getting condensed yeah. into the one kind of playing zone. And Nicole Walsh from Bursley had a fabulous year as well. Like you know, uh, really, really, really good. Like you know, had a lot of scores. Uh, in a very competitive uh, intermediate championship as well. Grace O'Brien, midfield or, or half forward, had a couple of great matches for Nina. They just didn't get as far as they would have liked. Uh, and, you know, and Sarah Delaney from uh, Borland, uh, playing half forward. Like, uh, I remember her playing on Mal in the final. Like, you know, she she gave Mal a very tough game. And you know how much we think of Mal. And um, Borland got on top that day. But, like, their honourable mentions for all of those uh, players and there's probably five or six more out there that um could could deserve a mention for that line too you know exactly certainly certainly could but congratulations to our three all-star green Kosh and miriam so moving on to the full four position the last three positions on the 2021 fpd insurance all-star team and they go to corner forward Emer Heffernan, full forward Lisa O'Connor from Borland Dwella, and in the other corner, Clonty Ross Moores, Casey Hennessy. Again, another difficult choice for the selection committee, but I think they've come up with three real top class players uh, in Emer Heffernan. Uh, they played a huge part for Nockavilla, Dunnesky Kickham's winning the Intermediate County Championship, scoring four points, or scoring two for, uh, sorry, in the, in the county final, unbelievable scoring in the county final. Lisa O'Connor really impressed me in the Junior A County Final uh, Borlands win over Money Gall. She finished with nine points, eight, eight of them from freeze. She was unbelievable believable that day on freeze. And she's been a real um, scoring threat all year for, for Borland. Well, a really exciting player. And then Casey Hennessy had an excellent uh, excellent year with Clonty Rossmore. Really improved, improved as the year went on. And Tosh, 
had the best performance I've ever seen from her in the county final where she scored 1-1 and, you know, was unlucky to not get more scores. It was Clonty's most dangerous forward that day. Um, Bill, impressed with those three players that have been chosen? Yeah, I, I am. Um, I, I, I might have been a bit surprised by uh, Lisa at, at full forward. Uh, um, but, um, you know, just just I, I was at three matches uh, when they played... Um, uh, Money goal uh, and the final, and I was at one other one, but her um, her score and is is on. Is, is, is unreal especially from the dead ball she can knock it over from any angle but she sets up play as well like she's great to run off the shoulder great to support and great for an out ball you know to take a shot on as well well deserved uh, had a fabulous county final you know really mature and really like relaxed on the ball in 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 as you know like a pressurised uh, environment Casey Hennessy fabulous year as the year went on like she was getting better and better and I know even watching her now with the college this year as well she's she's in, she's in flying form um, maybe a small bit surprised I thought she might have made the half forward line uh, uh, but I know we have to you have to fit six in but um, in the county final she was fabulous uh, I mean she was a real threat especially from the half forward line in and uh, caused drum no amount of issues and I think when she went in full forward then she was quite in the small bit but still like when the ball went in she was a constant threat uh, she's a great work rate as well back out the field picking up her own ball and taking on players uh, fabulous uh, fabulous year for her as it went on as I say Imer Heffernan like uh, again uh, fabulous year for for, for Nakabilla scoring in every match you know what I mean consistent all year and Nakabilla really rate her we really rate her as well like you know they were setting up to play around her pulling players out to give her room and knocking the ball into her and she was taking scores or, t- or getting frees generating a lot of her own frees but um no, super, super full forward line. Like any team would want that full forward line uh, in your club. Um, well deserved to all of them again. Um, and it's one of the few lines that uh, I, I couldn't see anybody that was really, really unlucky uh, because um, those three were outstanding um, all year. And Emer Heffernan even was was more as a full forward for for uh, Nakavilla. Um, but un, un, they're probably the unlucky ones that I I really thought were Joanne maybe Joanne Ryan. She was a uh, fabulous like for it in a lot of matches. One drove a couple of games as well. And um, and uh, what's the girl of the shorts? Uh, um, uh, for Michelle, drum as well, yeah. Michelle Woodlock, yeah. Michelle, Michelle Woodlock, no, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's just, um, and uh, sisters in the county final sure. Um, but um, yeah, I thought she had a fabulous year. Very uh, calm, relaxed on the ball, very mature. You know, yeah. um, th- they were probably had their hand up, but um, the three that were picked were probably um, you know, a step ahead of of of, of everybody else on that line. You know, fabulous, fab, a fabulous team and a fabulous full forward line there. Yeah, so just looking back on the team there, Ingoes, Quiva, Burke from Drummond Inch, full back line of Mick Connolly, Drummond Inch, Rosanna O'Donnell, Aero Ganekarkty, and Sarka Ryan of Cashel King Cormacks, half back of Aoife McGrath, Drummond Inch, Mary Ryan of Money Gaw, Neve Trassey, Drummond Inch, midfield pair and then of Quiva McCarthy of Navilla Dunnesky Hickens, and Claude McIntyre of Laura. And the half forward line, Green Air, Cash King Cormac, Cot Van Clonty, Ross Moore, Marion Campion, Drummond Inch. Full forward line, then of Emer Heffernan, Nakavilla, Dunnesky, Kickhams, Lisa O'Connor, Borland, Dwella, and Casey Hennessy, Clonty, Ross Moore. So, like we said, eight clubs represented in total uh, four senior clubs, one intermediate, one junior B, and two junior A. Drummond Inch, uh, Tipperary senior county champions, uh, are well represented with five players. Anna Carty with one, Cashel with two, Moneygall with one, Nakavilla with two, uh, Laura with one, Borlan with one, and Clonty Rossmore with two. So I think I think Bill, you'll have to agree. That's a, a fantastic 15 there, and um, all truly deserving of their 2021 FBD Insurance Club All Star. And I think credit to all the players that have been chosen, but also to all the clubs. Um, you know, great, you know, so many strong clubs in the county now so many clubs and so many volunteers doing huge work in the clubs and coaching and training and behind the scenes and you know like you said they've developed these players and uh you know it's a, a nice tribute for the clubs and for the players to you know it's just a new initiative there since last year from Tipperary Camogie just to have a, a an all-star team and uh I think it's a nice uh, little accolade for the players that are chosen. 
Yeah, look, it is like I mean, uh, as you say, as you, as you just said, Jordan. Like uh, I mean, like all these players deserve it, and even all the honourable mentions. Like you know, it's, it's good to get mentioned and be in 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 in, in talked about in, in, in with those players. Like I mean, if you're mentioned alongside Caught Devan and Mary Ryan, and you know, like you know, you're doing something right. But in fairness to the clubs, like I mean, even us as as say as 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 with the county, like. Like I mean, the clubs have done a fabulous job. Like I mean, we only have their players on loan. You know what I mean? Like and uh, trying to get a team together, and uh, we we depend on them and uh, uh, for the quality they're producing. I think gone through the roof uh, in the last couple of years. You know the quality of the backroom team coaches, the managers, and all that. And they're like, you no, know, they're genuine. Um, they're trying to promote the game of Camogie, get the quality up so Tip can get up. Uh, but also like in the club all Ireland, the monster championships as well. Um, I mean, you can see how far that um uh, Tip are developed and going there as well it's a credit to everybody I mean from county board down to local uh, club management and uh, and uh, and coaches and, and and volunteers as you say and in fairness like FBD have come on and topped and tailed it as well and um, and given us tremendous support so they can hopefully they stay with us for a good few years you know exactly so thanks very much Bill for joining us on the Camogie Report podcast to uh, chat about the FBD Insurance 2021 All-Star team uh, it's been a real pleasure and I want to wish you and all your management team the very uh, best look this year I know the league is only around the corner and you're, you're back training so wish you the very very best look this year um, If thanks to everyone for tuning in uh, we're still trying to get our 1000 subscribers which are which we're aiming to get. Uh, we're only about, I think, 50-something short. So please, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so today. And if you have, thanks very much. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm.